Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, back with some more of the Legends of the Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we made it, uh, we did a little bit of, uh, talking about Breath of the Wild in general. Uh, just some thoughts about the game, and also it's anniversary. I'm still recording this on the anniversary, but this video should be, uh, uploaded at a later date. Uh, but yeah. I guess we could talk more about it, but yeah, in the last episode we were talking about it, we got into some trouble with a Talius, and it was very annoying. And in this episode, we're actually heading up the Nehru Mountain, uh, which is right here, I believe. Yeah, Mount Nehru. So uh, this is where you would actually see the dra uh, the Nehru dragon, uh, the one that covers here. I think we've already met it, and I forgot in the last episode we were supposed to reveal uh, the other dragon, Pharos. So I guess I'll do that right now. Why not? All right, and. Oh, ring fit. Accidentally did something. Oh my god. Accidentally blowing up shit. There we go. So we encountered it here. Managed to get the, uh... To get its scale around here. And I died there, but luckily we did manage to get the scale, if I recall correctly. I believe there's this one here as well. No, it is actually. Wait. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah, this is the other one. So I'm just minding my own business and trying to find some secrets and like you know do some stuff off screen, and then this happens all of a sudden. It comes right out of the water. I've never seen this ever, and it looks so beautiful. We get some easy uh, scales from it as well. Very, it's honestly beautiful. It's I just love the dragons in Breath of the Wild. Also, there's a flower lady, a very crazy flower lady. I'm not sure if we ever gotten that uh, shown her ever, but oh yeah, there's also a few other funny things like our horse just glitching out off screen like many episodes ago. Like it did this. Yeah, very weird. So anyways, now we're climbing up Mount Lanaru to see what is up there. We've actually never done that before, so let's go ahead and do that. And there's some... Ice, uh... These annoying shits here. Key... Keyses, yeah, ice keyses. Uh, you get ice keys wings, so you can make potions out of that. Not too shabby. To say the least. Not sure if there's any other uh, monsters up here. Oh. Yeah, there's a lizard. Uh, one of those guys. I'm not sure to really worry about. Uh, actually, I should heal up because I didn't heal up from the last episode. So, better do that right now. So we just devour the sheared stakes and whatnot that we obtained. Just so we don't really, uh, waste too much of the more potential stronger food items that we have. Uh, what is this over here? This is Cool Saflin. Or Saflina, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. My bad if I butcher any pronunciations of any sort of items found. Anyways, we're nearing the top and there is something up there indeed. If we have Revali's Gale, I'll probably use it one more time just to see what's up there. See, so yeah, I guess this gives us more time to talk about Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2, since it is, since I am recording this on the anniversary. Uh, I guess another thing that I really liked about it is it's just the overall story. Like, this is the biggest Zelda game, but, like, voice acting. Like, sure, the other Zelda games had, like, you know, little grunts and stuff, but this, like, had full-on voice acting, which is crazy. Like, it took Zelda that long when Fire Emblem had voice acting. Then again, Pokemon should have had a voice acting for a while. I guess it kind of has it with Masters. Oh, I did not notice you at all. I guess Masters kind of fills that voice acting role, because uh, there's a lot of that. And also the animes as well. Uh, yeah, we're coming across the peak of Mount Lanaru here. But yeah, like I'll, that was really uh, something. They got some really a really good cast uh, for it as well. And Zelda's was very interesting pick, even though it's a, very, a deeper voice that you'd never expect for Zelda. I think they did a pretty amazing job, in my opinion. And... What is this? We got ourselves a cutscene. 
It's the one of the dragons. Yeah, this is one of the dragons that we haven't seen, and this is what happened to it. It's been infected by uh, malice. You've done well to find your way to the spring. You've overcome numerous trials and obtained the spirit orbs. The one you see before you is an attendant to the spring of wisdom. This is Nydra. The blue spirit of Lineru. So yeah, Lineru is the other one. This spirit of the god this is a servant of the goddess has looked over the the spirits of this land for ages, unknown to the world of man. However, the dreaded malice unleashed by Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You have received the spirit orbs. Free Ny Nydra from this malice and show what your power can achieve. Oh my god! Yeah, very creepy indeed. So we're going to have to free it. Uh, we only have so few... Right, there we go. We freed its head. Oh, she's trying to get up. She still has quite a bit of malice. Yeah, there's some big spots on her. Uh, oh my god, and a blood moon is rising during the middle of this. Oh my god, it looks so weird seeing, like, giant mountaintops and then just a giant red sky. Yes, the blood moon rises once again. Yes, I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like how I just said I love Zelda's voice, even though it's a little deep in, in like, you know, British and, you know, taking a lot of the Xenoblade Chronicles, but I, do that, I just proceed to make fun of it. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we still haven't ca caught a wind drift yet. Oh, here we go. We don't have much arrows. I hope that the... The goddess like statue does provide us with one. Here we go. At least we're getting some height now. Getting to the peak of the mountain too. Alright, we actually get to see a better shot at this thing. Alright, there goes another one. Okay, we freed another bot part. Uh let's see how much are left. Okay, there's one over there, and I believe one at its tail. So how many do we have left? We have two. Wow. We're going to have to really make this count, guys. All right. I'm not sure if this ice is slippery for us to climb. Okay, it's not. All right, and fire! Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Uh, we're going to really have to use a guardian orb, huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh wow, we... I guess we shot one of its scales. Huh. I'm not sure what this is either. I haven't seen it. It's just floating malice. Uh, do we have anything? Oh my god, we only have ancient arrows left. And I do not want to go all the way back, so we're going to really have to make this count. Okay, that's two. Oh, that's one more left over here. What? Oh my god, it did not affect it because its, its eye was closed. Alright, we're gonna have to... Oh my god, the winds are blowing intensely. We're gonna have to follow it. Hopefully it doesn't go all the way back. Uh... Alright, it's got one more left. Hopefully we can get its eye opened. Because that's going to be super hard. Oh my god, it's really traveling around uh, the Lanero mountain range. It's leaving a bunch of malice behind too. I'm not sure if that hurts us or anything. If we try to aim at it. Or like, run into it. I hope not. Alright, its eye is opened. Got it! Oh my god, with our last ancient arrow too. 
And Lanaru's dragon is free from the malice. And its color shifts from that dark purple back to its beautiful white crystal, like blue and white. Well, white, bluish, crystal-y color. It's now back to where it belongs. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This is one, this is actually one of the missions I actually want to do on screen because it's so beautiful. And I just love freeing it, like even if it does waste all of our arrows. Thanks for your efforts, Nydra. The spirit of Mount Lanaru has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains now. Loose your arrow through the body of to free its spirit through the region. Uh, I do not have one. Could you please lend me one, please? Uh, so I could do that. I mean, we kind of already hit it, but the thing is, I don't know where it is. Okay, we could pierce that. We could pierce it with something. Let's try our sword. I guess not. Uh, wow. Just imagine going to that cold water. Is there a sword here? Oh my god! What the fuck? Uh, I guess we lost our sword because its foot is like right there and it just like pushed us as soon as we tried grabbing. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, can we do that with this? I, I guess not. Our, it just phases right through. Uh, that sucks, honestly. And our sword is gone. Do we have its thing around here, at least? Did, did, we shot it earlier, so it should have its scale. We can't really teleport back, because, oh my god, that's a fucking long way. Uh, wow, we really do not have any arrows at all. Do we have, like, any way to hit it? Like, I do not have any arrows whatsoever. Hello, Goddess Lanaru. Uh, can you lend us some arrows, please? Gale is now ready. That would be great. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go back and then come back, so we'll be right back then with some arrows. That absolutely sucks. Unless, Alright, we're back. We finally climbed our way up and we went to Hateno Village. Uh, no, yeah, Hateno Village to get some arrows. We got 60 of them. All right, let's do this. Or fifteen of them, rather. Where does it fire off its scale? Oh, here, there it goes. It's off now. And the sun's rising too. Uh, and it shoots down right into the water. I think. Yes, it does. Now your scale, come, offer the scale to the blue spirit, the spring of wisdom. So I guess this is where Zelda should have went, because she went to the spring of power. And she didn't even offer a scale. You're not going to get your wishes answered if you don't offer a scale. Anyways, let's all put into the water, shall we? I guess this was all worth it at the end. And, oh, we got some sneaky veggie rolls. I forgot about that. We got that off screen. And, drop it into the water. And we get ourselves a hidden shrine. So yes, it's another one of these blessings. So I'm guessing this is just going to be a free one. It's going to come with a treasure chest. And, uh... So that's the second one, actually. I forgot that this is the second one. So we already got two of them. So we're going to go for a third one. But I'm not sure where that one is. That one's the courage one where we need to get. Because we got the power, we got the wisdom. Now we just need the courage one. Yeah, but this is the blessing when we get a chest, we get the free orb, etc. Yeah, that one was really fun. I honestly will enjoy that one, as I mentioned before. It was actually one of my favorite memories when I first put, played Breath of the Wild, and it still amazes me a second time going through it. Like, it's really that beautiful. I just absolutely adore what they put into that. So we got a frost spear. Nice. 
So yeah, I guess some more hopes that I would like to see from Breath of the Wild 2. I would like to see more of that. That just is absolutely beautiful. I want to see more stuff with the dragons. They'd be pretty cool. Especially because we didn't really get anything else from them, aside from these, like, little quests. Like, this one is, like, probably, like, the most impactful, because, like, this is the only dragon you really interact with, because you basically save its life from the malice. You know, it's like, being infected and, like, had, like, you know, it was basically, like, almost fully corrupted by the malice. Like, it could have easily, like, switched sides. And it's kind of, like, ironic, because, uh, it's the One of Wisdom. That's Zelda's Triforce. It's her piece of the Triforce, and it's being corrupted, it's taken over, it's kind of like a, it's not necessarily foreshadowing, but it's more so, uh, showing, like, you know, Zelda's captive by Ganon, like, she's holding him off, and, you know, it's kind of, a uh, poetic in that sort of sense, that, like, Zelda, that dragon is representing Zelda, and we're freeing her, so we're freeing the dragon. I don't know if that makes too much sense, but that's how I think of it. And we wasted some Guardian Arrows as well, at the, that point as well, which kind of sucks. At least we freed Lanaru, which I kind of, I've always really wanted to do on here, is to show that off. But yeah, we do have one more left, and we have its scale, so all we have to do is actually find the, uh, the spring for it. So anything that looks like this, any sort of, like, body of water, which has, like, a couple bits of, uh, land on it, I suppose... Because we have that. We got the Spring of Power, which is over here? Somewhere? Where, where is it? It's around here. Yeah, over here is the Spring of Power. So we need to find the last one, which is the Spring of Courage. But I'm not, honestly not sure where that is. I've actually never visited the Spring of Courage before, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, that doesn't look like one either. Doesn't seem like anything over here either. Uh, but yeah. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think we're going to be moving on to this area over here. I'm also going to try finding, uh... What's causing, like, the, uh... Storms over here in Fer in, around the Faron area as well. Because that's something that, uh... That's a side quest to do. So we're going to be also looking for that. And we're going to be heading westward this way. Because I think that there is a spring, or not a spring, but, uh the horse fairy fountain around here so we might actually get to go to that and there is this region over here above the Gerudo Valley which we still need to go to I think we're going to save the Gerudo Valley once we unlocked these two and at least got like a few more cutscenes out of the way so yeah 